thank everyone for coming out tonight. I see a lot of friends and family in the audience. I'm truly honored that you could make it to my last lecture. Most of my lessons I've learned in life result from mistakes made. So I've composed a list of do's and don'ts for a semi-successful life. And if you leave here remembering one thing, remember this, that whatever you do, everything is temporary and nothing is permanent, except tattoos. Those stick with you for quite a while. Pain is temporary. Grief, also temporary. Bad hair days, breakups, broken bones are all temporary. And in the middle of these earth-shattering things, remember one thing, to always be happy. Happy, because no matter what you're going through in life, there's always someone who has it worse. This is my grandpa. My grandpa taught me to be a happy person. In 2006, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which in almost all cases is a death sentence. But even in the midst of his pain and suffering, he was truly happy. He never let his emotions show, and no matter what, he always had a smile on his face. He taught me to spend lots of time with family. Because of all people, family will always love you and support you. In 2008, he passed away from his cancer, but I can gladly say of him I have only happy memories and several great life lessons. If there is one thing I could never figure out about my grandpa, it was why he didn't wear a cape, because he was my hero. This is Thomas. Thomas is a two-year-old boy that I had the opportunity to babysit several times. Thomas was a fighter. He was born several months early and had a very low birth weight. Even when Thomas was hurting, he would laugh. If he fell down the stairs, he'd laugh. If he got hit in the head with a ball, he'd laugh. So laugh always. Thomas passed away at the age of two from a heart defect. But the legacy he left behind was incredible for that of a two-year-old. So through everything, laugh. Laugh at yourself, laugh at others, just not at their expense. This is my dad. My dad taught me several things in life. First of all, to be a hard worker, even when you don't like what you're doing. Secondly, to be responsible, because people look up to those who are responsible. And finally, to be generous. He always told me that if you have much, give much. This is my mom. My mom's name is Bonnie. And Bonnie taught me in life to treat everyone with the same respect that you want to be treated with. And for the most part, it's worked out for me. Always love on kids. That's all kids want. They want to be cared about and noticed and played with. They want to be the center of your attention, even for just five minutes. Don'ts. Don't care what people think about you. Peter Brett once said that let others determine your worth and you've already lost because no one wants people worth more than themselves. Don't take yourself seriously. Laugh at yourself. You fall down, laugh at yourself. Don't hold a grudge, it's a waste of time. Don't date in high school. Fall in love when you're ready, not when you're lonely. High school flies by and you only get it once, so make it worth it. Don't tie yourself down to one person. Spend time with all your friends. Don't settle. Peter Scott once said, I've always believed the greater danger is not aiming too high, but too low. Settling for a bogey rather than shooting for an eagle. Finally, what you should do in life. Do have a sense of humor. Laugh a lot. Fart noises always help me. Have fun with everything you do. Have a good friend group. Speak your mind when appropriate. Wear a seatbelt and respect your elders. Take the time in life to tell people you love them. You never know when the last time you see them will be. Do something fun. Compliment someone. Act stupid in public. Sing loudly and be a kid. Also remember to live passionately and carelessly. Don't worry about tomorrow for the future will worry about itself. And be in the now. Don't stress yourself out worrying about what's gonna happen later or what's already happened. Have reason and purpose in life. The secret to happiness is acceptance of yourself. If you can't accept yourself for who you are, how do you expect others to accept you? In conclusion, 
One of my favorite quotes is that of Robert Frost. In three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. And it does. It will go on. Everything is temporary. Nothing is permanent.